Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about Lens's ability to do repeatable coordinated motion using Lens's new i950 servo drive. First we're going to get started with a short video. Hi everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to talk about the technical overview of the i950. First we'll notice the modular design uh, of the i950. Now rated power, we have a wide uh, power range uh, from three quarter all the way up to 150 horsepower. I notice the 400 480 volt model uh, handles the entire range. We also have some 230 volt models the three phase going up to seven and a half horsepower while the single phase model goes up to three horsepower. We also like the dimensions. Um, if you notice the compact design, this is the uh, single phase 230 volt model we're showing here. Very, uh, very compact design and noticing the, uh, the dimensions on that. Now we're going to look at the fu functional overview of the i950 servo. For motor control, we have both the open loop, volts per hertz, essentialist vector control, closed loop, we have asynchronous and permanent magnet uh, servo motor uh, servo control. Different feedback options, including resolver, sine cosine, hyperface. Also, the OCT is our one cable technology. We'll talk about that a little later. Next, let's talk about the motion functions. For the CIA 402, this would involve a motion controller. Now also we have available different speed control, torque control, electric shaft, and positioning options. Let's talk a little more about that. Now we had already mentioned the CIA 402 version. We have the motion controller. And actually the intelligence is inside the motion controller itself. Now we also have a version where we have our technology modules that are built into the drive in which it is totally parameterizable. Oh, that's a word, huh? Basically what you do is you change, you have parameters, you make very changes to the your parameters, and that's how you commission the drive. Very simple. Now, if you have a little more complex solution where you want to totally customize to your needs, you can take that same fast module and build other logic around it to really truly make it your product. Also we have, so for safety, we have safe torque on board and we also offer an extended safety variant as well. Let's look a little deeper into the functions of the i950. Let's talk about our fast modules. These are our application modules that are pre-made and easy to use. These are the different technology applications that we, we have. The CIA 402 Basic and Advanced for motion control. We have speed control, 
positioning, electronic gearing, registration, dancer and tension control winding. We also have a flex cam module for camming, uh, such as a rotary knife or flow packing. See some of the industries that we're in. Labeling, packaging, some inner logistics or warehousing, printing, for register see some registration control, uh, some blurry operation, I can't quite make that out. Not sure what that one is. And also maybe slitting, possibly slit or rewind. Let's take again a look at all the things that the I-950 has to offer. For fuel bus modules, we offer Profinet, EtherCAT, and Ethernet IP. We have the fast application modules for easy programming. We have basic safety of safe torque off, plus also extended safety is available. So if you need to use ProfiSafe or safety over EtherCAT, we have that available also. We have a wide range of feedback modules available. In fact, we've added also an I.O. extension module that can be plugged in instead of an encoder. It adds another five inputs and five outputs. Next, another new thing for Lenza is our OCT or one cable technology. We offer basic safety of safe torque off with a power range up to 20 horsepower. It's using Hyperface DSL as the feedback system. You notice a new, nice, sleek design of this particular motor and cable design. Let's look at the Ethernet ports to the i950. First, on top, in this case here, we're showing Profinet with different modules. So if you have a supervisory PLC with Profinet, this would be your configuration. Now we also, again, offer the same modules of, in Ethernet IP and EtherCAT. Now, if we have a motion controller that's controlling the i950, we'll be using in the red line there, the system bus motion. Again, the EtherCAT is the motion bus. And lastly, the last port on the bottom, that's for programming. So you simple, simply plug in a normal Ethernet connection and program it from your PLC. Here's a nice graphical depiction of the differences between the I-950 controller-based motion and drive-based motion. Notice for controller-based motion and drive-based, we're using the same fast technology modules. Those are uniform in both. The difference is in the controller-based motion, the fast modules are utilized in our PLC motion controller, whereas in the drive-based, the FAST modules are utilized inside the drive itself. Let's talk about drive-based motion. Let's look at this section of the machine, where drive-based motion can typically be used. Notice that the FAST modules that would be used in this section of the machine. Over on the left, we have the control top topology. As you can see, we have a PLC, it's a logic controller. Next, we have the I-950 servo drives where the motion and the different fast modules will be in each individual drive. Next, we have controller-based motion. Now we're selecting this section of the machine with the Delta robot, which is commonly controlled by a motion controller. As we look to the control topology, we've noticed we've removed the motion from the drive. We've mo moved the motion up to the controller. Thus, now we have a motion controller controlling the I-950s. And the protocol is what we talked about earlier, the CIA 402. Here are some examples of some typical solutions using Lenza products. What you can see here is to be endless possibilities 
with all the combinations that are possible. Also, that Lenza offers everything from the cloud down to an end of a gearbox, including HMIs, PLCs, motion controllers, safety PLCs, safety I.O., regular I.O., and regular inverters. But next, let's talk about my favorite trade show demo. This trade show demo utilizes FlexCam fast modules that are working together to produce a truly amazing result of coordinated drive-based motion. The Juggler is my favorite demo machine. At a trade show, this machine mesmerizes people as they walk by and they stop at the machine to watch it do its magic. Just about everyone has tried to juggle at some point in their lives and like myself, never perfected the three ball juggle. This machine can juggle flawlessly all day long without dropping a ball. We have had trade show goers juggle alongside the juggler. Some people can juggle in much more fancy style, but no one can juggle as long without dropping a ball as this mechanical marvel. This machine has no sensors. It is running with the basic calculation that if you throw something at a certain angle with a certain velocity, that due to the main force of gravity, you can determine where it will land. Air resistance and windage are so small of forces that they can be ignored. This is Lens's drive-based technology at its best. Here, there are four i950 servo drives that are all synchronized with each other. We mentioned a little earlier that we need to throw the ball at a certain velocity and at a certain angle to know exactly where the ball will land. As you see, the two axes that are throwing a ball have to be perfectly synchronized to perform that coordinated motion to throw the ball correctly consistently all day long. What we are seeing in this video is the result of all four axes using the FlexCam Fast module being synchronized with each other while stepping through predefined CAM tables. Please notice the red Ethernet cables that are plugged into the i950 servos. This is the EtherCAT communication cables that pass information amongst the four axes. The Juggler machine demonstrates Lenses servo technology to be extremely reliable and repeatable. Also, the Juggler is one example of why Lenses fast modules are proven and dependable.